Yeah. And my <laughs> girlfriend. Well, here's Glyn Pennell alongside Love Island's Ian Sterling cooking up a storm on Saturday Kitchen. Morning, and it's so. We don't talk about that. Let's not talk about it. But what are his top tips for cooking at home during the lockdown? Yeah, so, so cooking at home, you've got, I've got a captive audience, you know, I've got three children and my wife. Um, so, so they're enjoying the fact that they're self-isolating with the Michelin star chef because it's possibly, uh, you know, somebody's bucket list, that is. Um, <laughs> that's, it's been cool, actually, because running restaurants, it's, it's not just about the cooking, it's about the managing of staff and, and, and all the rest of it. So me now going right back to, to, to my roots and just cooking at home uh, with family and stuff. It's been fantastic and challenging for chefs like myself when you haven't got those sort of ingredients that you normally have. Keys is to only cook enough what you need. For instance, like we, we had some breakfast earlier, and normally I'll fire a whole tin of beets in, for instance, and we boil them up and we have them with eggs, sausage, whatever. But this time around, I only got half a tin in. We only had one egg each, one sausage, one slice of bread. And you know what? We had a fantastic breakfast. We ate enough. So I think the key is, is, is not to cook too much. That's the first thing I'd say. What's your, what's your general go to? Spices all day long. I mean, we're brummies, so we love a good spice anyway. Use spices as seasoning rather than salt, because if you're having a higher, because you're eating in a lot and you're, and you're seasoning stuff to get the flavour around some basic things, ease off the salt and the butter and start using spices in a very sort of, a very sort of um, Western way. So if you've got a little piece of lamb or, or whatever, season that with cumin rather than salt. Um, you know, just, just try and be creative. Tin of pooch has been knocking around there for ages. Why not bring them, bring them back with some uh, tin tomatoes, some chickpeas or some white beans, a uh, bit of dried parsley and just try and make something creative. That, that's going to be look good because it will look good but also when you're using that tin that's been in there too long that's probably been to two or three harvest festivals 